Hey guys, it's Mitchell. It is a beautiful sunset here in Hanoi, Vietnam, and I just wanted to talk about why I am getting rid of my June Crane 2. Before I jump in today's video, I just want to talk about data backup and keeping all of your work safe. A month or two back, I lost all of my photos and video from the last year of living in Vietnam and Southeast Asia. And if I had been using today's sponsor, it wouldn't have happened. I'm talking about Backblaze. If you guys are unfamiliar, Backblaze is a cloud-based backup solution, 50 bucks a year, unlimited. If you are a photo or a video enthusiast, make sure that all of your stuff is backed up in more than one place. And even if you don't wanna use my affiliate link, you don't have to, but I can't recommend their service enough. Okay, now to talk about the three reasons that I'm getting rid of my Crane 2. And the first one is follow focus. Now, when I bought the Crane 2, I was using a Nikon D750. It had terrible video autofocus. And the idea of having a gimbal mounted follow focus system was really appealing to me. Since then, I have learned my lesson when it comes to gimbal mounted file focus systems. I've done a video about that link right up here. And it's not something that I really see myself utilizing anymore. My A6500 and whatever APS-C Sony camera comes out next will have great video autofocus. So for me, it's not that high of a priority. The second reason is size. Now, I live in Vietnam. I do tons of motorcycle trips. And for me, the size and weight constraint of the Crane 2 versus something like the Mosua Aircross or the Zhiyun Crane Plus really is a big negative, especially when I'm trying to pack it in a bag or pack it along with other gear. The fact I can't break it in half is for me at least a huge negative. The third and final reason why I'm getting rid of it is ultimately because at this point, it's a little bit out of date. DJI has released the Ronin S, which it has its upsides and its downsides. It's definitely bigger. It's definitely heavier. Definitely has slightly better performance and ergonomics. Zhiyun has just teased their newest set of gimbals. And ultimately for me right now, having a depreciating asset that is losing value as quickly as the Crane 2 is, is ultimately just not a good financial move. I don't use it enough to be a compelling piece of equipment. And ultimately, I think there's items out there that are better suited for what my needs, wants, and desires are. That said, I will be purchasing another gimbal again. It will probably be either a Crane Plus or a Crane V2, something along those lines, something smaller that I can fold in half and, or that the bottom detaches and something that's ultimately a little bit lighter. I absolutely love the fact I can change shutter speed and ISO from the Crane 2. It's something that is really, really nice. I love that I can power it externally or power my camera externally. That's also really nice. But ultimately, I find myself leaving at home far too often to justify keeping that depreciating asset. Okay, if you guys love today's video, go ahead, hit that like button. If you hated it, give me a thumbs down. Tell me what I can do to make the videos better. And if you have a comment, thought, something you want to share, please go ahead and leave it in the comment section down below. I love interacting with you guys in the comments, talking about cameras, upcoming gadgets, things along those lines. And I am really excited to announce I'm going to be moving into a new place here pretty soon, complete with like a more formal YouTube studio. Okay. Until next time, it's been Mitchell coming to you from Hanoi. Peace.